we enrolled 250 patients. All patients had to have an incurable solid tumor cancer. They all provided written informed consent and uh, their tumor tissue was then sent for genomic profiling for up to 315 cancer related genes. We found that the first question of feasibility uh, was answered in the sense that most results that were available with a median of 26 days of informed consent and the second question of clinical utility was that when these results were reviewed in a genomics tumor board then we found that about two-thirds of patients 63 percent had a biologically actionable alteration in their tumors however when this was uh, when a drug was recommended for this for these biologically actionable alterations only 11 percent of the patients uh, in the study which is 24 patients out of 250 uh, with 223 patients with the result could actually receive a drug half of those received a drug in a clinical trial and nine patients received off-label drugs and three patients received on-label drugs so in summary although we demonstrated feasibility of performing routine tumor genomic profiling getting the result in a timely fashion discussing the results in a genomics tumor board and then making a recommendation to the treating oncologist about a specific targeted therapy whether on study off study on label or off label the clinical impact was limited by access to clinical trials most patients did not have access to clinical trials meaning either the clinical trial was not available close to where they lived or the clinical trial was available but by the time they tried to sign up they were not eligible or the slots weren't available and of course out of the 40 or 50 potential targeted therapies only about six or eight clinical trials are available in any given region in any given time so to improve the clinical impact of precision oncology, more clinical trial access has to be organized.